Hey folks, today we're playing some more practice games in Nebulous Fleet Command. Let's get started. As soon as we're done loading. So what I want to do today is I want to edit my fleet a little bit. Uh, I don't want to make too many major changes though. I think um, one thing I want to do is I want to make my scout a little more stealthy. Let's see if we can do that. But I think the main thing for me here is to just practice and get a feel for how to drive the ships and what to do with them. One th I want to, I wanna, though, in order to make my um, the Where is Bryce a little stealthier, I want to try removing some of the systems from it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Radar signature is increased by the spotlight illuminator on the small reactor booster. So I think we want to remove both of those things. So there's the illuminator. And then let's see if we can also remove the reactor booster. Okay, and turn off, we're still under our power quota, which is very good. And we also want to be mindful of our ship points here. It looks like we have like 30 extra that we could spend now if we wanted to. I think I'm going to think about upgrading the radar. I want to look at the different radar types here. So we haven't messed around with that too much. So the RS-35 is a frontline radar. It has 8 kilometer max range, 3,500 kilowatts of power, 40 decibel gain, aperture size of 25. This is very technical. I love this. It's like, you know, real... Uh, astronomy or like signal processing stuff. There's a lot of math that goes into this, I bet. It's really cool. Um, let's see. So this has a bigger aperture and a bigger gain, the spyglass. So I think we're going to add that to our ship and see what happens here. We don't have enough power. That's a, that's really unfortunate. I was hoping the spyglass would take a little bit less power or, or would, would not take enough power to put us over. But it seems like it is. I also want to see how that affects our signature. Doesn't impact our signature. That's good. Can we go instead of the dragonfly drive? I want to see if we can do the prowler drive. This is going to reduce our power even further, but it also reduces our radar signature. So if we could just get the spyglass on there, I think that'd be kind of a big deal. I'm thinking we might eliminate one of the missile launchers to save power. Uh, we might also be able to eliminate a plant control center. Let's see if we can get that. Oh no, it says we don't have enough power, right? Um, what can we eliminate besides the radar? Let's try eliminating. I'm going to eliminate this because we hardly got a chance to use it anyway. We're still way, way over. Power requirement for the radar is huge. Maybe we just have a ship that just has that and nothing else. No, that's still too much. That's crazy. Purely recon vessel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. How's it going? The problem is like we can't we can't fit everything. I've got to increase the signature again by adding a reactor booster. I mean, it still reduces the signature by twenty percent, which is pretty good. <clears throat> now we're under we're still over our power budget though. Excuse me. Could go with another plant control center. Let's try that. Okay, this puts us under our power budget. Let's see if we can remove the reactor booster that impacts our signature here. No, it's just over. Okay, so we do need the reactor booster. If we had a slightly bigger class of ship, we could probably... Um, or if we downgraded the radar, obviously, then we could manage that. But I think the spyglass radar is going to be super, super good. Um, the other thing we can think about is I think there's like an early warning radar. Rules for recon, it's going to be fast, light, and full of sensors. Yeah. So I'm choosing stealthy over fast here, I think. 
we're gonna see how that works out. I don't know what's gonna work out. Um, is this the early warning radar? Tech radar signature is well beyond its maximum radar range in the form of Elan signals displaying a rough line. I kind of want this on the ship if we can fit it. Let's make sure that it's on the nose if possible. Does that increase our signature at all? Probably not, right? No. Okay, it does put us over our power budget though. So do we have we have to choose? Do we want the upgraded radar or do we want the electronic support module? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna ditch the electronic support module. We're gonna have an, we're gonna have that on another one of our ships. So this is gonna be it. Um, we could see if we have the power budget for like a missile launcher. Let's try to fit the VLS twenty three on there again. We're actually under budget still. That's good. Um, so this is gonna be our lone defensive system. Or do we want offense? Let's see if we can fit offense and defense. I just want to see what we can afford here in terms of power. Okay, this puts us way over the 16. If we take off the 23, I think we're still going to be over. Yeah. So we can't fit an offensive missile launcher in here, which is kind of unfortunate. We could think about the MLS too, but we don't have any compartments open for ammo is the thing. So I think we have to stick with the VLS-23. Let's see, just for the sake of argument, can we fit multiple? We're one kilowatt over. <laughs> that kills me. It kills me. I wonder if that's allowed. Can we? No, we don't have enough crew to operate everything anyway. Um... We can't actually swing this because we don't have enough compartments on this frame. What else could we mount on here? Anything? I mean, we have to mount something. If we mount something else, it has to be something that doesn't take any power or a significant amount of power. We could theoretically go with a cannon, but then we don't have room for ammo. This takes up too much power, probably. Let's see. No, nope. yeah, that's too much. It's unfortunate that we can't choose to put on a slightly bigger reactor, but I think this is it. I think this is our build. It's just going to be basic CIC, a bunch of plant control centers, and a big spyglass radar. So we could try to upgrade the CIC to give it a little more durability. But you know what? I think if this thing gets spotted, it's dead. I don't think it... Not enough crew to operate all systems. Shoot. Can we give up a, a PCC? I don't think we can, right? No. Um. This can't fit. What is a signature scrambler? Uh, by using an array of components and randomly aligning them for the different stages of waveform generation, electronic and mechanical, shortening, lengthening of waveguide and antennas, it complicates the identification of a warship by its electronic signature alone. Just reduces the difficulty of identification, which means we would have already been spotted by that point, so it doesn't really help us out in this particular usage. It's really more useful against human players, I think, in combination with the signature spoofing thing. On ship with warning, not enough crew to operate all systems. What systems do we have here that we can't operate? We just, we literally just have radar. That's it. Does the PCC take crew? The PCC does require crew. Okay, that's what it is. So we have to give up a PCC for a berthing no matter what. Okay, so I think what we're learning here, yeah. So I think what we're learning here is that the spyglass radar can't be fit on a Corvette at all. I think it's not possible. 
because we literally just we have nothing else on board the ship and we have all of our available slots dedicated to amping up the power and it's not enough so we might need to try to in introduce a frigate into the fleet or maybe let's just go with a standard radar or let's compare the parallax radar has a bit more range actually So this has a little bit more range, but not as much range as the Spyglass. Let's try that and see if we can make that workable. Okay, so now we have a berthing, so we can... We have crew support for the two plant control centers. Uh, we have basic CIC. We could think about... We could either do away with a reactor booster. Apparently. Well, it just takes a lot of power, is the thing. It takes more power than the tiny plant on this ship can produce. So let's see if we can fit in the VLS-23 here. We can. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see if I can fit in a bigger missile launcher just for the sake of experiment here. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this doesn't have enough power if we add the VLS. So, okay, so we can we can bring the VLS-23 for uh, last resort defense, but we don't have enough um, spare power to afford anything else. So that's okay, that's pretty good actually. So we're gonna fill it up with repost missiles, which are the anti-missile missiles. And again, we're gonna put two units of chaff on the off chance that I remember, remember that chaff is a thing that exists that I should use. Uh, high distance equipment may not be needed. Well, I mean, the further, the higher distance, yeah. So I'm thinking like the the middle high distance is going to be enough because of the stealthiness, but uh, we'll see. We'll see about it. I would have really liked to have a jammer on this, but I think it's okay. I think we're going to be all right. Um, and let's see if we can take off the reactor booster. No. What does the energy regulator do? Uh, really reduces reload time and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it for this ship. He's customized. Yeah, and let's edit our formations. I think I'm gonna split these two up. Okay, so I'm gonna deploy these two separately: the destroyer and the wearer's brace. In fact, I might put the destroyer in formation with the Nagata as well based on our experience here. I think I want it to be, I want it to be like 1500 meters away so it doesn't have a big signature. I think maybe a thousand meters is enough. Let's see. Okay, I think that's gonna be enough. Oh, what is that? That's not where I wanted it. Um, okay, let's do it like this. That's a bit better. I really want it to be more beneath than than in front of. There's a price of book character that didn't make it into the show. Oh no, it's um it's a channel meme. It's like um a guy one of our guy one of our crew members from the Space Haven game that got captured by cultists. This interface is driving me crazy. I really just want it to be... There we go. I think that's right. 
Yeah, that's better. That's about what I want. Okay. And then the follow my channel is going to be... Let's have him be up also up here, but directly ahead. Maybe even up a little bit so that he's not near the other guy. Okay, hopefully those are far enough apart that they don't increase our radar footprint. Uh, hold on, let me ban this guy. Buy followers, primes, and yada yada yada. Slash ban. Um, need spam. Uh, I spelled his name wrong. Ban, excellent. Giving me, trying to autocorrect me. There we go. Okay, much better. Sorry about that. Okay, so I think the rest of our ships we're going to leave in the same state that they're. Actually, we got a couple extra points to spend here. We got. What does that say? 2876. So we got like 100 points that we can spend. So I think we're going to upgrade. We could upgrade the follow my channel, I think, a little bit. Um, I know this guy's pretty full. Maybe we actually want to upgrade the Nagata. Okay, so we can give the Nagata some secondary weapons to fight with. I think a problem. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to leave this magazine how it is for now. We could fill that magazine, but I think we've, we've hardly used most of the ammunition that we have in previous things, so let's not worry about that for now. I think I'm going to upgrade the drive to a dragonfly to make it so this thing can roll over easily. Um, so the 500, let's take a look at the 500 drive first of all. It's got a... Um, doesn't actually have any movement related stats it just has a certain mass 80 tons and then damage related stats and the crew requirement this is a reinforced drive okay we so we have the 540 this reduces our top speed by 10 percent, but it gives us a 45 percent increase in turn rate and angular thrust which i think is pretty good so that's going to enable us to quickly roll over to bring all of our guns to bear which i think is going to be pretty important and that brings us up to 2891. So we still have more than 100 points to spend. What else do we want to spend it on? I think this guy could use some point defense, maybe. We could also get a reinforced CIC. What's the difference? What's a Citadel? Citadel is twice as many hit points. The thing about providing structural reinforcement is that by the time that this thing is getting damaged, everything's gone really wrong with our entire build setup, so maybe that's not something we worry about so much. Maybe what we get is more long-range weapons on here instead. Let's see what weapon slots we have open. We have a lot of open weapon mounts, actually. So we probably want some... We have the bullseye radar on this side. Should we put another one on the other side? I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, let's put the pin hard. That's something we definitely want to get in there. Unless we have room on the... Um, far, follow my channel or the Margaret Ham Hamilton for that, which I don't think we do. Here we have none. Here we have none. Yeah, okay. So the Nagata now has the pin hard, so we can see which direction things are coming from. Theoretically, if we get our mounts lined up the right way. figuring out where some of these mounts are okay so this is the top middle nose thing this is the top middle small ships can get close and fire big torpedoes yeah that's true well the um the follow my channel is supposed to be the one that intercepts small ships but now we're gonna have two three ships in this upper formation so hopefully that'll help with that 
We could actually think about putting rail guns on one of these two ships in lieu of the stuff that we currently have. We could also put missiles on this guy. That that could be pretty good. Let's um Let's put some missiles on there. Oh, we could also put the uh we could also put a com jammer. That could be pretty useful. This is a 360 degree comm jammer. It's not as powerful as the other jammer, it says. That's okay. I think we're not gonna worry about that. Let's let's put some cannons on there. Actually, this is the side mount. It's probably not going to be visible as much to the enemy. So this should either be missiles or point defense, I think. Let's put a VLS-23 on there. And again, we're going to put mostly repasts and a couple chaff. Because the repasts are automatic and the chaff is something I have to manually do. Okay, so that's a VLS-23. And we got how many points left? Like 30, 31 points. This is an underslung mount, so this would be another good one for point defense. Oh, we can put in Aurora. Let's see if we can fit that in. That actually puts us over our point budget, though. Aurora is really strong point defense. It's like a laser anti-missile system. What do we give up here? I think we give up the VLS-23 rather than the, than the Aurora. Okay, so we have like 25 points left. VLS-23, I'm assuming, is like 30. Oh, it's 5 points, but then it actually also costs extra per missile. How much do the missiles cost? The repost is 2 for 1. The chaff is 1 for 1. So we could put a couple units of chaff on there. Let's try to do something a little bit better. This side is going to be facing downward most of the time, so I think it makes some sense for this side to have more point defense. We're not going to fit another Aurora, because that's 50 points. The multiple ships hide behind a good jammer. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we do already have a jammer on this thing. We could actually put a second jammer on there, maybe, if we wanted to. That wouldn't be the worst idea. But again, it's kind of a last resort, because we want this thing to be far away from the enemy. I think we're going to put a um, point defense turret because it's a little bit less costly than the rack full of repasts and it's going to give us four endurance. We could also put some cannons, but I think this is going to give us more mileage, hopefully. Oh, no, that puts us over still. Okay, let's go with the Sea Wiz, the defender instead. Okay, so then we need... Ammo for the Defender. That can be towards the top here. Oh, uh, we're over. The magazine also costs points. That puts us over. Okay. So never mind that. So if we keep the magazine in, is there a smaller point defense gun that we could upgrade to? No. So this is out of the picture. Maybe we incorporate more damage control, more durability. Doesn't seem like it's going to do much for us, though. It seems like we're just using points for the sake of using points. If we put another blanket jammer on, what does that cost us? That's 50. We don't want a signature booster. How much does this launcher cost? 20. Cannon only costs 10. 
I think the cannon, we might be able to fit a Mark 1 cannon on here. No, so it's still over. Okay, so we're just gonna use we're just gonna use supplementary systems. We're not gonna be able to fit another weapon on. Because anything we add is too many points. Um Okay, so what do we put then? We have modules that we can add. Can we add multiple drives? Hold on. We can put multiple drives. How cool is that? That's crazy. So we could put two dragonfly drives. I don't know if that increases our speed or not. We're going to see what happens with that. Let's try it out. Okay, so 2,996. We have like four points left, so we can spend the rest to fill our ammunition bucket here. And then we got three points left, which is fine. Unless there's like a one point weapon support or damage control, but I doubt it. <laughs> nope, okay. Alright, I think that's good as it is. Oops, uh, what did I do here? Save fleet. Uh, for guns and propulsion. You asking about the extra drive? Not sure if I understood. Bigger core is more power all around. Oh, um, the problem is that uh, we have a total build point target that I'm trying to hit for the fleet and any more weapons that we add. We have enough power for them, but it's going to go over the total fleet value that I'm aiming for. All right, so we're going to try this in a skirmish. <clears throat> um, and what was the CPU using last time? I think they were using this fleet. I remember they had a, maybe not this one. I remember they had beam destroyers. I think it was this fleet, the Ash fleet. Okay, so we're going to see if our scout can pick up the enemy from a good distance away, and we're also going to see whether the early warning radar helps us out at all. Yeah, it's tough to fit everything in. 3,000 points is a pretty small fleet. Okay, so we have our one formation of all the ships here, and then we have our little scout going by himself. Where is Bryce? All alone. The universe. Okay, so yeah, I think we want. The, we think, I think we want our little fleet up here somewhere. And then the where is Bryce is going to go here. Let's bring him closer to the center. There we go. Okay, let's try this. It's cool to watch our fleet burn in. The Naomi Nagata. It's a bit of an ironic name because she hates fighting, but I also think she's the coolest character in the show, so. Awaiting orders, Commander. Okay, so. Let's worry about our electronic warfare first. Um, I think we want... I want to s just quickly see if we reduce our thrust, does that reduce our signature? It does not. So we don't have to worry about that. We want to put our maneuver on direct for now. Let's put our comms on receive and our... I think I want our radar to be on. Okay, and now these guys, I want them, like, over here, eventually. And maybe up a little bit. To that 
position. Okay. And now comes the nerve-wracking part. Oh, and let's turn on our... These guys are going to have radar off. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Ready. And they're going to have comms set to receive only. Receiving. Might have to change that later. We'll see. But I think we don't have to worry about that as long as we have the scout out there. I think we need this to descend a little bit, maybe. Okay, there we go. So let's peek out underneath this rock here. Aye, aye. Full burn. There we go. And then we'll kind of descend slowly using the rocks as cover. Awaiting orders. Watch our ships for a minute here. The destroyer is in a weird position. I didn't think. It... What's going on? I'm hearing a ping. Oh, shoot. They're up there? No, they're down there. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. We can see where they're at. That's so cool. So we can see that they're in this general direction. It'd be so useful if you had two of those. We could figure out exactly where they were. Oh, man. That's so good to have that early indicator. Okay, so that means we can bring this guy down a little bit more aggressively. Um. Aye, aye. Proceeding. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Such a relief to be able to see them like long before they can actually detect us. This is our early warning radar that we just added to the flagship. So we don't know exactly where they're at, but we know that we're somewhere. We know that they're somewhere on this line, basically. Which means that we can see them now. I think they might be partly obstructed. They just disappeared. No, they're there. Shows them way off the screen, which makes sense because we only have a unidirectional fix on them. Oh, snap. Traffic. Um, I think that this fleet is a little too close. I'm a bit worried that they're going to start firing missiles at us before we're... Okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Awaiting orders, Commander. Nope. Send traffic. I think... Uh, okay, we need to set the comm to transmit on this guy, because this guy could see the targets. Standing by. They're going to learn today. <laughs> Engaging target. They're going to learn today. I love it. Okay. So we should be firing now. Maneuvering to fire. I don't know what the heck has happened with the attitude of this ship. Like, why is it nose upward? Moving. Okay, I think we need to start kiting backwards now. Reporting. Okay, let's set this thing to all stop. I might want to start slowly kiting away from them, actually. Force laid in. Okay. Is that your traffic? Are we firing? I can't tell. I think we're not. I don't know what the heck the ship is doing. Heading there now, Commander. Uh, maybe we lost track on that original target. Firing on that target. They're gonna learn lost today. The target. Holding fire. Oh, we lost the target again. I do, yeah. Reporting. 
are definitely in range for my weapons. I just think that I lost, uh, I think I lost sensor contact with the ship that I originally targeted, is what happened. And also my ships are doing this weird thing where they're like traveling that way instead of the way that I want them to go. I don't know what hook track means. It keeps coming up every time I press H. Okay, they're still down that way. That's good. I think this guy ended up behind the rock, so he can't actually see the targets. Or maybe the targets fell behind a rock because they were under fire. I don't know. Okay, but now we have an edge on, so we should be able to see them. Let's try to set a roll. Get it done. There we go. That should be better. Oh, we lost track. There they are. Receiving. I'm gonna come a little bit closer to this rock. I'm just gonna chill and be patient. Wait for them to come to us. Send your traffic. I think we're in a good spot. Seems like they're not quite behind the asteroid. They're like directly underneath it. They're underneath this big guy, is what it looks like. Force laid in. Send traffic. Whereas Bryce might need to get a little bit closer. Let's try to skip down to this rock here. This might be too close. Force laid in. We're definitely doing a lot better on the stealth and electronic warfare score with our new scout chip design. I'm liking that. Awaiting orders. I think we're about to get our vision occluded behind this rock. Let's go up this way a little more. There we go. Okay, we got something. Firing on that target. I don't care what it is, it's gonna blow up. Firing on that target. Can we get some real guns to bear? Come on. We should be firing some real guns. There we go. There we go. Hard to tell if we're actually hitting the target. Is our, tough is our stuff taking forever to reload, or is it just... Receiving. Okay, let's have this guy stop in his tracks where he's at. I think he's at a good spot right now. Okay, we do see that... We saw one of the ships take a hit. Awesome. Traffic. This is beautiful. This is just what we wanted. They cannot shoot back. They can't even jam us at this range. They don't know where we're at. It's getting free hits all over. Just hope we have enough ammo now. I think we got three full bins, so that should be plenty. Oh, this is so good. You can see there's like pieces flying off, there's like little explosions. I can't see the actual ship, but we can tell that we're making contact. Reporting. They're actually drawing closer to the scout ship a little bit, so we've got to be careful. We might have to back up a slightly. Uh, oh shit, they're jamming the scout ship. That means that they know where we're at, and that probably means they're going to launch a bunch of missiles at us in a minute. Uh, let's go to flank. I should have locked onto the target. Oh yeah, we're taking the scout ships getting hit. 
Okay, let's... Yeah, we're done. Okay, well, so much for that. We got a couple free hits. That's good. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. Uh, What are we doing now? Let's see. Okay, we want to stay up over their heads. Who are we sending down next? I think we're sending down... the Margaret Hamilton. Or maybe we take... Let's change up our formation at this point. Let's have the Margaret Hamilton follow the... follow my channel. Okay, so we're going to move these guys into formation with each other, and we're going to have them both go in together and fight, now that we've done a little bit of damage. Awaiting orders, Commander. What do we see? Okay, we got, elect we got the um, Ready, early warning radar contact again. Poor Bryce didn't stand a chance. But his sacrifice will not be in vain. This we swear. What happened to the music? I guess it went back to the uh, contemplative mode. Heading there now, Commander. What is again? What is going on with this guy's heading? Let's clear his heading so that he can get back in some kind of sensible orientation. Okay, we know about where they're at, so we could actually think about firing some missiles there. Uh, we need to have our radar on on these two ships. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Standing by. What do we get? Send your traffic. We lost our. That might be because we rolled the ship over, actually. Force laid in. Kind of bummed that we didn't get a little more mileage out of the Warriors Bryce. They spotted us a little too quick. But we got some damage out for free. Or not for free, but only losing our little tiny scout ship. So I think that's something. Okay, let's see what we got in terms of weapons here. Okay, so uh, number two here only has the cannons. Number four is the one that has the missiles, but they only have gales. So they need to actually have a fix on the target in order to fire. Standing by. I think we're going to turn our radar on, on the battleship as well at this point. Standing by. Do I dare send toward them? Underway. Standing by. Okay, we got our... Early warning radar on tracking again. So we know that they moved a little bit around this way. Okay, thanks. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. We're ready whenever you are. Underway. I think this will be a good attitude. Receive it. I think the extra dragonfly drive is helping. Ready. We'll have to see. We'll have to compare it with the results using a single drive and see how it is. Executing your orders. Orders. 
Send your traffic. Roger that. He's in the gutters in a good spot. Standing by. We just gotta get some actual sensor readings on the rest of their fleet. We're on the way, Commander. Okay, we're gonna have the Nagata, Nagata keep its current heading, I think, or maybe only a slight heading change. We lost track of them. I think they went behind this rock, maybe. Roger that. Okay, we're gonna have it start shifting this way and down a little bit. But I want to keep it at this attitude for now. Waiting for your orders, Commander. Moving. Ready. Moving to that position. Aye, Commander. Waiting orders. Where are they? We should probably wait before we move any closer until the Nagata has the early warning contact again. Bye. Moving. Receiving. Like we might pack these guys up a little bit until we get that. Be patient, figure out where they're at before we make our next move. Send traffic. <laughs> Waiting orders. Underway. Standing by. In. There we go. Okay, we got a contact. I'm gonna move this way to make sure we are able to see that contact. Okay, and now we're gonna move these guys into range, or at least one of them. I think we should move both. Um. Bumbling with the jammer controls again. Um, okay, let's get a burn through. There's our burn through, come on. Okay, those are missiles. That's bad. Okay, we're firing our posts. We need to get closer. So right now, we're at this at this point, we're committed. We're running out of missiles, Commander. Heading there now, Commander. Okay. We're okay. We took a little bit. I don't think we actually took any damage. It's hard to tell. Roger that. Aye, aye. Give me a sensor contact, come on. Standing by. I think we wasted a bunch of their missiles. They're like right there. Send your traffic. Electronic warfare activated. Components lost. Component lost. We're about to lose the Margaret Hamilton. Why do they always target the destroyer? Reporting 
Awaiting orders. Okay, we got a lock. Sorry, Commander, that's too far. Firing Hold on that game. target. BCT supported. Engaging. On it. Receive. Okay, let's try to get some missiles out while we have track. The enemy has commenced. Out of range. So it keeps saying we're out of range for a lock. It's so frustrating. Okay, uh, weapons. Okay, they banned a ship. Let's see. I'm not seeing a lot of railgun shots coming down. What's going on here? Uh, okay, they're they are firing. Good. They missed though. Flank speed evade. Aye, aye. Standing by. Uh, Firing on that target. No, oh, don't do this. Yeah. Okay, we lost CIC. We can get all of our missiles off, unfortunately. The Margaret Hamilton got hosed pretty much immediately. Okay, we're gonna start moving. We're gonna have to move down towards them. We don't have a choice. Heading there now, Commander. Let's adjust our roll a little bit. Let's get it done. They're jamming me. That's not good. Run through. Battle short on. Under attack. Come on, give me a target. This jamming is absolutely killing me. Missile. Okay, we got it. Establishing law. We're being jammed. Engaging. Engaging. I'm not trying to shoot railguns at the missile. Give me an actual target. Uh, let's clear the heading because I think our heading's pretty messed up. I don't think we're Aurora's even in arc. Uh, we're toast. That was it. Target lost. It's so frustrating. My ships are always facing the wrong way at a critical moment because I can never figure out which side all the systems are on, or I can't get them to to be in the attitude that I want. But I think that's the end of it. We'll see if we can get one or two more shots off before we go. I think we did a lot more damage than last time, maybe. It won't even let me roll over. Okay, we got a target at least. They actually still have all three real guns, nominally speaking. Can you fire? We're not firing the target. Okay, we're battles over. We're out of weapons. It's gonna be interesting to see how much damage we did. I think we may have actually killed that one ship, because it's not moving. We ran out of ammo. Or we, our ammo got destroyed, maybe. Okay, we're gonna wait for the battle to end here. Module lost! Yes, command! Internal damage! Oh, we did nothing to them. Look at that. Okay, the... The Nagata did about 1,200 damage. Uh, the follow on my channel did 500 damage somehow. I guess I think it was firing its guns, I guess, before it got eliminated. And that was it. The Warriors Bryce, of course, didn't do any damage because it's a scout ship. And the Margaret Hamilton did a whopping 74 damage, which I'm not even sure how it managed to do that since I don't remember firing anything from that ship. Um, but hey, it was interesting. Uh, we had more success with our sniping strategy. I think the strategy is more suited for a larger game with a more a bigger number of players. I don't think it's going to work really well ever against this destroyer fleet. Um, I think we kind of made it work for a while, um, and that's about as successful as we can expect to be. The only thing that I regret is not being able to fire off the missiles on the Margaret Hamilton before we died. I think I wonder if we want to make the follow my channel on the Margaret Hamilton a separate 
I also feel like these guys have their point defenses in the wrong arc or something. Like they're not able to defend themselves adequately the way that I think they should be able to. Let's take a look at our fleet one more time. Let's see if we can figure that part out. Okay, so... I think, the, I think the Nagata is fine as it is. We could even remove the Aurora. It didn't really do much for us, as we saw in the end there. So we got to keep that in mind. I think the Pinard was vital. We're, gonna, we're definitely keeping that. But I think we also added... Where's the Aurora? It's in the weapon mounts, right? So we could, we could afford to remove this guy. I wonder if we need to have a radar on each side of this thing. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure how the radar works in terms of like the facing. Maybe we need a, lo a longer range radar. I could just have three scouts, right? Send them in one at a time. It's probably not the best thing, but. Let's make this a blueprint. Um, Scout, Corvette. Stealth, Recon, Corvette. Whereas Bryce is now a Stealth Recon Corvette. So we could create more of those if we wanted to. How much does each one cost? Does it give us the cost of the template? Yes, launcher. It costs 100 points, and that's it. I mean, that's not bad. What do these guys cost? This costs 340 points, it looks like. And this one costs 1,000 points to Margaret Hamilton. This is costing us 1,000 points out of our fleet composition, and it's doing nothing for us in the last couple engagements. It pretty much just got annihilated immediately. Um, I think we want to maybe get rid of the Margaret Hamilton. Sorry, Margaret Hamilton. I mean, we'll we'll come, we'll come create another ship called the Margaret Hamilton that'll serve us a little bit better in our chosen role here. I think the Illuminator is problematic because we can't actually see the targets. Let's try to edit it and see if we can make a modified version of this that works. Okay, so the Margaret Hamilton... It's got all the Gale missiles. The Aurora is on top. I think that's problematic for considering our playstyle. We need the Aurora to be on the bottom. Is there a slot on the bottom? I thought there was. It's currently occupied by the VLS launcher, so we can actually switch these. You can put the Aurora on the bottom. And now we have two Aurora's. Do we want that? We definitely don't. Okay, and then this could be our anti-missile capability here. We could also think about a flat gun. We're not, I'm, I haven't been using the chaff, so I'm just going to load up completely with repost missiles. I think they're way better for my playstyle because I don't want to have to figure out how to use the chaff at the last second when missiles are getting fired at me. And I'm trying to fiddle with the electronic warfare so I can actually see the thing that's shooting at me. Does this not have like any kind of lock-on radar? Is that why we're not able to see targets? Is that what's going on here? I think that might be part of our issue here. This is our flat gun for shooting down missiles. I think this is a bad spot for a flat gun. Let's put another VLS-23 if we can.
Maybe we make that a VLS-23 and we put another Gale launcher on the other slot, which is a little bit bigger. I think this is going to be good, yeah. Now we have a missile cruiser. It's a little bit over our point total. But we're going to trim it down. So we got the Illuminator. We can maybe eliminate the beam cannon. The beam cannon is always the first thing to go when the ship gets shot, so I don't think it's really worth it. At least not the way that I'm using this ship. Go spaceships! Hey, how's it going? Pin back. I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to customize my fleet to make it not die. I had a little success early on with my one scout ship. But then as soon as that scout ship got destroyed, the rest of my fleet was hosed. Okay, we're going to put a bullseye radar in the spinal mount, I guess. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Because it's not flexible. Do you have any standard way of testing? Yeah, I'm just doing a skirmish versus AI um, against the, the AI destroyer fleet, the starter fleet. Probably not the most accurate to like what an actual battle against other people would be like, but I think it's adequate for my experience level. I feel like this ought to have a beam, because what else am I doing with this weapon slot, but... Just doesn't make sense to me to... Oh, we also have a mass driver option. What's the range on this? 105 meter accuracy at 20 kilometers. This has a 6,000 meter. This is way more range than the mass driver. But it also requires ammo, which we don't have available right now. I don't know. We'll think about, I'm going to take that off for now. We'll think about that in a minute. Um, I need to give up something to fit radar on this thing. Maybe this is the wrong type of frame for what I'm trying to do. Or maybe I just needed to fly it upside down the entire time. I don't like flying ships upside down because it makes it a pain in the butt. Maybe I fly this ship underneath the enemy fleet. Okay, let's leave it the way it was a minute ago. Okay, so he's got... Let's pay attention to what mount is where. So the Aurora is on top. We got the offensive missile launchers on the side and top. We have a jammer on the side. Does a fellow on my channel have a jammer? This guy also has a jammer. Illuminators underneath is the thing. I have to decide which side is going to be the fighting side. Is it going to be the top or is it going to be the bottom? Let's make it the top. Okay, so this launcher is underneath. This launcher is on the left side. The jammer is going to be... Okay, so it's going to be the top right. This is also... I think we might want to give up the rebound for a radar lock because we already have the Aurora and we also have... No, we don't have a defensive missile launcher. Well, let's, I think we need a radar. We don't have one anywhere right now. So there's our radar. Can we get a bigger radar? We can't. There are bigger radar options. Maybe we need to give up another mount for them. We can get another pinard. If we got a bigger mount. The big amount that we need for... There's no other radar options for the ship class, I guess. Maybe the... 
the bigger the other radar types are limited to the Corvette or the frigate. Okay, so we have Aurora, we have missiles, missiles. We have the jammer, the radar, the illuminator. Where's the illuminator? The illuminator's in a weird spot now. I think we can have the radar and the this on top and the illuminator on the bottom. I think we need to move the illuminator to the side. Let's move this VLS launcher. How is this slot isn't big enough? It's like I don't have enough mounts on the top part of the ship. Parallax radar can lock. Uh, how do I... It doesn't give me an option to install parallax radar. How do I get that? Uh, does it require a certain slot size or, or what? Frontline radar module, where's that? This guy, okay. I was looking in the wrong category, thank you. What's my fleet point total? 3,007 right now, so it's too much, it's over. I'm trying to get under 3,000. Okay, well let's try. So this is eight kilometer. This is nine and a half kilometer, which is a lot better. Wonder if we could even fit into spyglass here. So this is 25, 10, 45. Does the spyglass not give weapons locks? Reduce sensor accuracy and a higher power draw. Okay, it looks like the parallax is better overall. Okay, this is we're out of power here, and we're over our fleet points. I'm going to remove the beam cannon, although I hate to do that because the beam cannon is like the main thing on this. Could remove DC lockers, but I don't want to do that because this is sort of a... Let's look at the beam cannon point cost. 75 points. I mean, that's a lot for a weapon system that I have yet to use in a single game. Let's take it off for now. Okay, so these are both full with Gale missiles. You have the Aurora. You have the Jammer on the right side, the Radar. The Illuminator. And we have an empty mount at the front. And we have like 20 points left, I think. Oh, we also have an unused magazine here. I mean, this could technically be a flak thing, maybe? I think that's way, that's too many points, right? Nope. That's just about right, actually. So we use our nose mount for flak cannon, which is probably a little unconventional, but I think it's gonna be effective. And then we have lots of flak rounds. So I like that idea, okay. Let's try this, see if we survive a little bit longer than we did with the other design. Okay, and then our formations. Oh, let me look at the other ship too. The follow my channel, what has he got? He's got uh, two cannons, which is fine. The feel the repost launcher, which is good. Another jammer. His jammer is on the left. I don't like the fact that his jammer is on the left and the other guy's jammer is on the right. Let's switch that around. So this is going to be then the VLS-23 with their posts. And again, I'm ditching the chaff because I always just forget to use it anyway. Um, Let's see. 
we'll prove on that in, in the future after I have some more practice with the game, hopefully. And then the jammer is what we were looking at on the right side here. I don't know why the weapons, why we need a weapon group for the jammer since it just shows up as a jammer. I guess you could have multiple jammers. Okay, so we got cannons, like a jammer launcher, and he's going to go in the shadow of the destroyer, I think, so he doesn't need as much point defense, hopefully. Magazine for the shells, that's good. And we're at exactly 3,000 points. How cool is that? All right, save it. And then the formations... So we're going to have the follow on my channel is now going to be guided off of the Margaret Hamilton. I think that's the Margaret Hamilton. Yes. And where do we want it to be? Let's have it be... Probably want it to be somewhat close by, but let's say more than 500 meters. Like, this is probably good. Maybe somewhat on the right, since we're going to be approaching from the right. Okay. I think that's going to be good. We'll see. Maybe put this a little bit downward, actually. Um... Okay, and then can I change the ship numbers? Do you guys know if that's a thing that's possible? Let's try that. That's better. Okay. And then we'll put the Margaret Hamilton here. Okay, so one is the Nagata, two is the Bryce, and then three is the remaining, and then four is the last guy. Perfect. All right. Um, do we have time for another match? Hmm. Uh, let me check real quick on my calendar and see if I can go a couple minutes later. Okay, we're going to start a new one that's going to have to be a quick one. We might not have time to finish the entire thing, but I think we'll probably have enough time to kind of get a feel for how the fleet's working. Oops, wrong button. Where's the... It's the ash, was it? Yeah, right. One with all the beam cannons. Okay, there we go. One annihilation, pillars. Good. Okay, let's try to be quick about this. So the Nagata is going to go up here, like before. The Bryce is going to go down here, before. And the Margaret Hamilton and the other guy are going to be up here. Oh, we get to see all the little things that Widget Greeley is on the side of it. That's cool. As it's flying in. Okay. Standing so the Nagata is going to go on radar off, transmit, receive. Orders, this guy is going, he's going to be the way he's at. These guys are going to be radar off and transmit. Actually, we'll, have, we'll keep these guys radar on for now, but I want to, their comms on receive. Send traffic. Oh, I didn't do the... Reporting. There we go. Send your traffic. It's weird that they start out backwards. I think you would think they would turn around automatically, but I guess they don't necessarily have to. We can do whatever we want, right? Okay. Reporting. Let's try to go up this way a little bit this time. Full burn. And we're going to keep right. the Margaret Hamilton and the other guy close by. Force Signature is increase because of the illuminator. That's okay. And then the where is Bryce is going to go in and find the enemy. Hopefully we should get the early warning radar track pretty soon. 
Let's try to stick closer to the rocks this time so we can get out of dodge if there's uh, missile strikes. Awaiting orders, Commander. Oops. Yes. Clicking the wrong button because I switched up which ship is which number. Turning up the engines. I'd like to be peeking over this rock, I think. We'll see how that goes once the ships get in position. Standing by. Aye, aye. Proceeding. I wonder if the AI does the same thing every time or whether there's a random this element to it. I mean, before it contacts an enemy ship. Where is Bryce? Standing by. Kind of hoping we would get an early warning radar ping by now. A bit concerned that we have not. I'm wondering if they're underneath this rock formation or something. Or maybe with a maybe our early warning radar is pointed the wrong way. Let's try to figure out which side of the ship it's actually on here. Oh, I forgot these guys were gonna go underneath, right? The um these guys. Zeroing in. What? Send traffic. Sensor interference. Standing by. Oh shit. What are our orders, Commander? Turning up the engines now. How do they not? How do we not see them? Was a radar on the wrong side of the ship or something? Are oh, they on the market, Hamilton? Okay, let's burn. Acknowledged. And comms on transmit. Reporting. Awaiting orders, Commander. We've got a lot of static here. Reporting. Uh, we need to get this guy back. Aye, aye. Proceeding. Oh, there's the missiles. They're actually headed for the Nagata. Destroyed. I'm confused. Component destroyed. Oh shit! The computer fooled me. They were up behind this rock. Okay, we'll see if we can recover from this. I think the answer is no, pretty sure. Oh, we lost our burn. I had them on radar for a split second. Okay. Locking them up. We're being jammed. Standing uh ready. Let's turn our radar on, since we're already under fire. It doesn't hurt anything. Did we lose our antenna or something? Radar's down. We lost a micro reactor. We got a reactor low overload going on in the dragonfly. Can we get that fixed, please? I think that's a concern. We're shooting more missiles at us. Yeah. Is there anything we can do about it? Not really. Uh, we can go on evasive. We got a jammer, right? Can't do that, Commander. Okay. Uh, what's going on with your heading here? Brace for impact. Roger that. Quiet. Command's on the line. I still have no. Ready. Okay. Ten two, we're reading. Target is actual. Fire. No can do, Commander. Uh, let's get Jammer going, and the Spotlight. I'm gonna turn on Battle Short. And let's fire some Gales. Uh, 
And by some, I mean... However many that is. Okay, uh, and then this guy... I don't know what that hook track thing is again. Let's fire... Send traffic. Wrong target. Uh, undermount cannons. Okay. We're reading. Damage control. Okay, we got the reactor overload under control. We lost the micro reactor, two micro reactors. We lost our underside rail gun. We're being locked up. I think the crew's dead. <laughs> um. We need to replace something. Standing by. Missile is on sunlight. Sent to traffic. Under attack. All the missiles. Did all the missiles miss? No, we hit this, didn't we? A couple of the missiles must have hit. Awaiting orders. Solution. Active buzzer active. At least we're in a proper fight this time. All fly. Set traffic. Yeah, we see them. Aye, aye. Okay, let's try to jam. We go for burn through. They walked on. Uh. Set traffic. We need to get this guy at a flank speed evade and get him away from the Hamilton. We're standing by. Yeah, this ship needs to keep moving. Let's go back to full for him. Receiving. Okay, let's get to where is Bryce. Uh, on. Heads up. Enemy missile. Uh, he has no damage control, so let's not do flank on him more than we have to. This is fine, yeah, for sure. Command, of course, we're taking fire. We've got him now. We see them. Negative command, we can't do that. Spiker detected. Receiving. They're still shooting the Margaret Hamilton. That's good for us. Kind of. I think this ship has lost all of its weapons. The harp riled. So we've done some damage. Uh, that's not good. Engineering reports. Power restored. Punching. Moving out. Receiving. Lock on warning. We're being jammed. Standing by. Do we still have our jammers on? Negative. 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 Did we lose our jamming? Oh, this guy also has a jammer. Let's get that in play. No can do for me. Jammer's down. Okay. Component destroyed. I think that was the Margaret Hamilton, hopefully. Uh, some other ship that we also just lost. Yeah, that was the Margaret Hamilton. Okay, we also lost the follow my channel. Awaiting orders. We get our radar. Enemy fire inbound. Receiving. Reporting in. Send traffic. Understood. I wonder if we need to move. Okay, we got... This guy must have lost its radar receiver. Like, this is it. This is the end of the Nagata. Yeah, we lost command. That's it. Okay, and of course the Where's Bryce has no weapons. So, he can run away, but it doesn't matter. Rank speed. Bryce is going to retreat from the field. Bryce will be lost in space forever.
The exit to main menu doesn't show me the... Uh, it does. Okay. You know, man, God, we hardly knew ye. That's right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Our, our, our fleet overall did substantially more damage than the previous battle, so we're improving a little bit each time. We're still getting completely hosed by the computer player, which is not great, but we're getting a little better. So, uh, the follow my channel dealt 1300 damage with the missiles, I think. Uh, the Margaret Hamilton dealt 17, or no, this was the guns, 1700 damage from the missiles. We only got 500 damage from the Nagata this time because we got jumped on kind of early and we took a lot of damage in the initial engagement. Um, but we also did, and we also have the Where's Bryce. These guys did 10,000 damage apiece because they're crazy brawler energy destroyers. Um, that is what it is. But um, that was fun. That was a good battle. I think we're going to try that again next time with the same fleet setup that we currently have. But we'll try to be a little bit smarter about our positioning and not drive our sniper battleship straight into the enemy formation and get jammed. So, yeah, good game. Uh, so I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did and it's your first time checking out the channel, don't forget to follow. And uh, Pinmac and Delta and also Ahmed, thanks for hanging out and chatting. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good afternoon.